damage. We don't let them we wait for it. Out of order. Got what? Two more sticks to go. <laughs> boys we made it up North Carolina was it called Wilmington Wilmington, Wilmington. Wilmington. pick up That's a wrap. Walking out of SunTrust. Just gave them $32,000 cash. Title in hand. She's strapped down. She's bad. She's a bad machine. Get into this drive home and uh, get it to the house and I'll show you guys what it's all about. It's a pretty badass car. Stopped at the gas station. Got some scratch offs. I always buy scratch offs out of state because I always think they're more lucky. I'll give you a little walk around. This is a 70 Chevelle, and she is minty, boys. Minty fresh. Badass, big tires, old school. Four length rear. Some good ass paint. Yeah, <laughs> Fud Ruckers. What was your rating? 10 out of 10. Oh, straight up a 10 out of 10. World's greatest hamburgers. I'm going with a 8.7. But it was delish. Way better than uh, Popeyes or nasty ass Wendy's and McDonald's. Whew, three hours ago. Just check the straps. Last stop. We're already back in Florida. Stop at the loves, check some straps, get the last little bit of fuel, and put some DEF in this thing. Grabbed a Red Bull. Got about another two and a half hours till we're home, boys. Phew. All right, guys, welcome back. 
Uh, it's been a couple days. Actually, it's been about a week, about a week or so since we got the Chevelle. Um, I was out in Colorado, we've been running like crazy. My uncle's been busy. We've been busy. To give you the quick runaround, um, my uncle has been a part of our company business. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it's been at least like 12 to 15 years. Um, it is my dad's cousin and my uncle's cousin. And he used to live up in Ohio doing superintending and other things like that. And um, which is where everybody, all of them were uh, born and raised was Ohio. Um, they moved down here, started a business. And now that's what me and my sister and my cousin um, all run with them. Uh, we build houses for a living, if anybody was curious. So um, this, this Chevelle is a, uh, a car. If I'm not mistaken, I thought he either had one when he was young or he just always wanted a 70 Chevelle. Um, so this, my dad and my uncle went in halves um, on this car to thank him because he runs the Northern uh, office for us. So we have, we have um, one, two, three, four offices and he runs the top two, actually top three, um, so pretty much the, uh, the Chevelle is a thank you, um, for just kicking ass and doing so well with the company and, uh, what the heck? I think there's an accident up here. That's great. Um, so pretty much thank, thanking my uncle for, uh, being an awesome, uh, salesman and keeping that up North company running. So we're back in town. Uh, we're going to be picking up the car or actually I think my dad's driving the car we're going to be driving about 40 minutes north up to where he is uh, I'm going to go out to lunch we're going to hide this car in a parking lot and he's going to be walking by obviously take a look at it and be like wow this is amazing like he would any other muscle car um, specifically Chevelle um, and then uh, I'm going to be hiding low key um in the truck because if i if i'm there then he's gonna be um suspicious on why i'm there so i'm gonna be hiding in the truck with my cousin we're gonna be filming i'm gonna have gopros in the car to try to catch a reaction um and then we're gonna go to lunch and then whatever but we're almost to my dad's house now um i gotta i gotta paint some stuff underneath the car the four link was a little bit shady just some, just some stuff needed some dusted up. So I got some, um, some bar, some roll bar paint. I'm gonna take care of that, shine up the car, and uh, get ready to drive up there and get his reaction. It should be pretty dang priceless. So hope you guys like this. Let's get to it. Check her out, boys. It's got a chassis works Fab Nine in it. It's got some Willwood brakes. It's a pretty snazzy looking car. Decent fab work for back in the day. Good welds, decent welds. Pretty rowdy. I'm gonna go ahead and touch all this up, make it look pretty. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. <laughs> all right guys, well, here it is. 1970s Chevelle. It's got a big block 502 crate motor in it. Got some big badass pistons, some nice heads, um, big hooker long tube headers, MSD ignition, the whole nine yards. It's a pretty badass car, man. I think it makes 550 horsepower right out of the crate. So it is sweet. I mean, as you can tell, this thing has got all the goodies on it. It's got good, good parts. It's clean. Got the badass Kroger wheels. It used to have a uh, some more roll cage in it. it. Used to have the down bar. The guy cut it out, which he could have just done a swing out and made it accessible still. But some people don't want that for just cruising. But B and M shifter, all the auto meter, old school gauges. It does have a radio, digital dash, which is gangster. Freaking interior is sick. I 
guess that's the guy who did the body. Did the body work. Body by Fisher. Super clean, really done up well. Not a, not a hack job by any means. Paint's flawless. Got the big old Mickey Thompsons in the back. These things are massive. 33, 22, 15s. Fab 9 rear end. Just went ahead and touched all that up. Made it look all pretty. It does have a fiberglass deck lid. Um, because the fuel cell's in the back. But, she's a beaut. Power steering. The whole deal. So... We are uh, gonna go ahead and get this thing fired up, which is really cool, is he even got some new style AC deal to have AC and heat in this thing. We'll go ahead and cold start this thing, see how hard it is to cold start. Turn the key, digital dash, get us a fuel pump going. Got the three speed. I believe it's even got a trans brake. <laughs> Give it the old pump, pump, dump. Look at that. He even tells you the fuel, dude. 99% fuel full. Your volts. That gauge is sick. Oh, maybe we gotta flip this on. guys we're meeting at lollygaggers which is a sports bar sorry for the wind noise well, we got my truck set over there he has no idea what i'm driving we're currently cleaning the car got the gopro mounted got the bow in there dad got some rips on the way up we close it it's gonna get his reaction when he opens the door. So it's gonna be perfect. This is like the 30th set of people roll through here and take pictures of this thing. <laughs> and they're about to be pulling in, goddammit. Go away, you're gonna ruin the surprise, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, guys, yeah. fucking handkerchief blowing his nose. Goddamn now. <laughs> Back in my day, boy, I used to put them down <laughs> in the back of that <laughs> Chevelle, boy. <laughs> God definitely damn. All right, this is them right here in the Duramax. Look at him. Mark's already eyeballing it. <laughs> Look at him. He's hitting the brakes. He don't even know that's about to be his. He has literally no idea. Watch this, he's fixing the back end and hop out and be like, God damn. <laughs> oh, that's the dent. He said he got a dent inside of it. He asked me yesterday, we got a place I can fix this. <laughs> All right, so Uncle Matt is getting out of the passenger side and Uncle Mark is getting out of the driver's seat. Let's see how they're going to approach this. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He just said, there's my mm. old Chevelle. <laughs> oh my God, he's about to shit himself. Yeah. Completely clueless at the moment, boys. How funny, there's my old Chevelle. I'm just hoping he doesn't look over here. He has no idea. He has no idea what I'm in. I think I'm He thinks we're breaking into it. He said, leave that damn car alone. <laughs> He's walking. He said, you're fucking with somebody else's car. <laughs> Now they now <laughs> now they gotta kinda tell him, look bro. Look, this is your car, bro. Come on. He just noticed the GoPro. <laughs>
like it or what? <laughs> There she goes. <laughs> How you doing, Sam? Oh, <laughs> we got you. What are you doing? Oh, I'm getting sick. Don't get no scaring me. Oh, what are you doing with that? Well, you haven't seen it. You bought an SS. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? Uh uh. Somebody else do? bought it. Huh? Somebody else bought it. Who bought it? Is that yours? Who's that so sister? That's what? his. You bought one? No. no, Matt and I got it for him. What the hell for? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he said the same thing. <laughs> I even saw him getting in it. I'm like, somebody's going to beat your ass. <laughs> there was something rumbling down the driveway, and I was like, what are they dragging behind them? <laughs> oh, my God. Where are you going to put this? <laughs> Put the <laughs> <laughs> all, all that stuff coming out, he said tonight, is bigger than the driveway. <laughs> uh, he'll find shit to lean up against it. Oh my god. Take a look at the back of it. You need to take a ride. What the hell? Come back further. <laughs> look at those slick buttons. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not slick. Well, boys, there you have it. We're back at the office now, and uh, Uncle Mark absolutely loves it. He, uh, we ate some lunch, then him and my dad went to go register the car, take it for a joy ride, and take it back to his house so he can have fun with that thing. As always, I appreciate you guys on the channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, we pick up Spanky tomorrow. Um, the new roll cage, I got some pictures of it, and it looks killer. And we're going to be going to U.S. Street Nationals this weekend, so I'll have some videos coming out. Probably tomorrow and the next day um, of the new cage and the new upgrades. And then we get into racing. So thank you guys as always. Love y'all.